Hi everyone! Today we're finishing our hot cup of cocoa with some watercolor paint. The main thing to remember today is to take care of those paints by wiping the brush on the side of the little paint cup and then when you come over to your picture you just brush the watercolor right on top of the crayon. You don't need to paint around each little um, piece of crayon that you put on. You want to just brush right over it and let the resist happen. So anytime you want to switch colors, make sure you're rinsing out your paintbrush. There are 500 students in this school that use the paints, so please be considerate and make sure that you're taking care of those paints and not mixing them up. Another thing you might like to try is the wet on wet technique. You just put clear water on your brush, just plain water, and brush it on and then drop little bits of paint into the water and let it spread. When watercolor does that, it just kind of has a mind of its own. It likes to do its own thing. You can't always control it. So just relax and just let that watercolor happen. So we are coming to the end of the painting. The last and final thing you will do today is paint the hot chocolate. For that, we will use paint that's a little bit different. You have to put a puddle of water in your brown paint to get that paint uh, started, and then you can use that for the hot chocolate. So make sure you don't have any puddles of water on your paper. When you've soaked up the puddles with a the tissue, then you can take it to the drying rack. Have fun!